Young Pierre is brought back to his father's remote island in Spain after leaving a Catholic boarding school. But for unspecified reasons, he harbors intense resentment towards his father. Pierre worries that his mother may be making a serious error by staying with his father, which would only make the situation worse. His father tries to talk to him in the car on the way home, but Pierre brushes him off and says he has other things to do. When they get to the house, Pierre is still aloof and uninterested in spite of his father's pleading. Pierre is greeted warmly by the maid, Martha, and reluctantly agrees to accept her assistance with the bulky bags. Pierre, hoping for some peace and quiet, heads to the pool after learning from his father that his mother is upstairs. But to his surprise, his mother forces him into the water. In this strange place, Pierre finally starts to feel accepted as he resurfaces and is greeted with open arms by Helena. He learns over time that his mother and father are good people with flaws, just like him. Despite his difficulties, Pierre finds his place in the world and learns how to get around in his new surroundings. Helena tells Pierre she needs to go to the market during lunch, but she declines to take him along. She advises him to visit the beach or explore the city. Pierre decides to go on a tour of the desert, but as he observes other visitors having fun in the sand, he is left feeling empty. Pierre later finds his mother unconscious on the balcony when he gets home. He learns from his father that she passed out. Pierre, however, believes there might be more to the story. When Martha answers his questions about what transpired by saying that his father had spoken to Helena just before she passed out, Pierre becomes furious and storms inside that evening. When his father tries to speak with him, he unintentionally drops a glass, cutting them off. The next morning, Pierre discovers that his father has left for a business trip to France. He inquires after his father's whereabouts, and Helena replies that his mistress is in Nice. Pierre chooses to defend his mother and keep her secret safe despite his rage. Pierre gradually develops a fierce determination to learn the truth about his father's adultery and violent outburst. Pierre spends some private time with a loved one. He has been walking the city, but he still finds it dull. He then runs into Helena and confronts her, asking her angrily why she stays in the city. Helena, however, is adamant that he simply hasn't found all of its incredible features. She does, however, offer to drive him to the water park and to dinner. However, Pierre is so eager that he inquires as to their plans for that day. Helena must regretfully decline. Later that evening, she makes a stunning return dressed in all black. At first, Pierre is irate, but the following day, Helena seduces him. The mother of Pierre breaks some heartbreaking news. After being involved in an accident, his father passed away. Even if he doesn't need to cry, she encourages him to experience some sadness. He tries to reassure her by saying that she is young and has time to make amends, but she rejects him and calls him an idiot. They visit a club where they see young men singing and getting naked. She explains to him that while they were in Istanbul, everything was enjoyable, but that life in Spain is dull now. She asks him to stop thinking of her in a certain way and shares secrets from her past, including the reasons she isn't always at home and the reason he was raised by his grandparents. When they get home, she talks to a doctor about Pierre's emotions, but she doesn't like the advice. One day before leaving, she hands him the key to his father's study and instructs him to take what he needs and throw the rest away. At a bar, Pierre discovered a collection of adult magazines and self-policed. When they meet Re, they persuade Pierre to kiss and suck on her breast. Another night at the bar, Pierre and Re have a kiss while the show is going on. Pierre searches for them but eventually passes out in the hallway. While longingly observing, Helena tells Re to have sex with him when she sees him with Re. She signs her son up for an orgy that morning with some of her friends. On the bed, they were all naked. Pierre goes back to the woman just before she awakens. While Nancy is reacting to his touch, they had an orgy where Hansi touched her. He sexually assaults her. In addition, Helena goes to touch Hansi that day as soon as she wakes up, thinking about what he has done. After reading a Bible verse and jogging outside in the rain, Pierre leaves the house. Helena claims that he is too young and has seen her true self as soon as he enters the room. She begs him to think of her in this way before revealing their incompatibility. He sets out for a deserted area after being devastated by her departure, where he wanders aimlessly and plays golf alone. He eventually returns to his empty home, where he spends his days by himself. He asks Hansi how she got inside his house after finding her swimming in his pool one day. She reveals that she let herself in and returned Helena's key, which surprises him. They become fast friends as they get to know one another. She brings some strange friends with her when she comes back the next time. When he approaches her to ask about her friends, he discovers that she only knows about one of them, Lulu. She reminds him that he suggested having more interesting group conversations. For the group, he makes coffee, but later he asks her to see them. Him out following their post-coital conversation and meeting with Hansi. Hansi reveals that Lulu is her childhood friend and that she refers to Pierre as their slave when Pierre asks about Lulu. 
Helena continues to live with Ray in the meantime, but she can't help but miss Pierre. In a letter to his mother, Pierre once gushes about how Hansi's tardiness makes him feel more alive than any religious experience. His arrival coincides with the letters, and he reads it. She denies being upset about the letter when Pierre asks if she is, but she does question their relationship and wonders if he wants to leave her. Hansi tells the story of how she first met Pierre at the hotel after being forced by Pierre's mother to prepare prawns for a group of tourists. She also talks about how the leader of the tour group encouraged her to do whatever she pleased with her body, which made Pierre uncomfortable and forced him to interrupt. Pierre makes a promise that they won't do it again as they attempt to recreate the experience with coercive sex. Helena starts to miss Pierre in the meantime. But Ray tells her that he has forgotten about her and is lost in Nancy's care. She is devastated to discover Pierre and Hansi together when she gets home, and she is genuinely envious and longing for them. She inquires as to his desire to share her bed. She asks him to cut her abdomen, and he agrees to do it as she requests. They then go to the bedroom of the caller. She informs him that whatever they are doing is wrong and that stopping it is also wrong. She demands that he masturbate on her, at which point she slits her throat. Later, the police arrive to leave her remains. When Pierre visits the mortuary, he finds her corpse and masturbates next to it. When the attendant notices him, she drags him away against his will while he cries. I don't want to pass away, mom. He is taken away by the attendant. I hope you liked watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your attention.